Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Sorcerer's Kingdom. I ended the last episode a little abruptly. Um, I didn't really talk about our new party members. We have Midi, who is a decent fighter, um, shortly a little bit worse than the hero, but she can also cast some healing magic and escape, um, like teleport and stuff. As you can see from her equipment, I bought her some stuff. I bought her the magic helmet and speed boots, and I gave her a fire ring I had. I found the rip dagger, but I'll uh, talk about that a little bit more in a second. Uh, let's check out the hero, because I, I did buy a lot of equipment. I farmed for a while. I bought Alan on a mithril sword, a, a wing helmet, and I believe I got him the power gloves. Shout out Elrad. I bought him also a magic helmet, and I believe that's about it. I don't think I bought anything else with him. He's not going to be taking hits, or doesn't, he doesn't need it. I bought Astina a magic helmet as well. Not much. Now, she is like a white mage. She casts... Uh, check out her magic. Oh, you can't see it all because we're not in battle, but... She starts out with like a cure spell, um, like a cure poison, like a heal, and that gets rid of uh, petrification. It's pretty good. I, I farmed here for a little bit. Uh, I'll show off this battle with these guys. These guys are all a joke now. Um, between my offense and my decent defense, I'm not going to have any trouble next year. Now these guys, you want to farm this dude a while. For quite a while, actually, because he has two rare drops. One is a magic potion, which cures MP, and one is the Rip Dagger that I gave to Midi. Now, the thing about the Rip Dagger is that it's an instant upgrade for her, and it sells for uh, 1,250 gold. So you want to just do this for I don't know forever, as long as you want. If, if you just want gold, it's probably easier just to kill that guy. But if you want um, experience and make your guys stronger, you want to go farm in the waterfall cave. Let's just check this out. Uh, okay. Apparently it's too bad of a snowstorm. Can't go north. Okay. Now as for those birds, I don't, rem I don't recall them having any special drop. They just give a okay amount of gold whoa what's this hidden oh this is a very long dungeon um that's one reason why i farmed for so long and also to minimize the farming altitude later oh i i should also say that i still have thirty-six thousand gold saber hmm check that out i think this might be an upgrade for midi Oh, no, can't use it. Well, I'll just be selling that. Yeah, some weapons, like you just saw, you can't use with magic. So, they're really not of any use for anybody except uh, Alanon. Yeah, I, I could basically one-shot anything in here. A thousand gold. Not terrible. Oh, I missed something over there, I think. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, this place is pretty big. You can kind of get lost. Well, I got lost in the first screen. That, uh, that's not a good sign. Um, let's just show off Biddy. She doesn't do that good of damage, as you can see. Uh, either does Astina right now, but their defenses are good. So, oh, I don't want to get involved in that again. Let's use a fireball. Um, I grinded a little bit just using Elrad's magic. So, I think he's got like 40 or so more magic points. Well, apparently I did not miss anything. Wow. Okay, let's uh, get going. Ah! That's all this to end. <laughs> and 
these guys give okay gold. I mean, not not the greatest. But they give pretty valuable um, experience. Okay, these guys die to one thunder. So I'll just take care of those. Then I'll finish it off with my hero. That even my counter attacks now can do a lot of damage. Like I've, I count, uh, I counter attacked one of those lizards for like 600 once. It's pretty crazy. Ah! Stop fighting. Okay, that's pretty good. Worth it. Here's in here. Boar armor. Pretty good. Uh, I don't think I... Yeah, I think that's an upgrade for Elrad. Because he's still got chain. Yep. He loses a little range, but that's no big deal. Tricky slime. Let's see what's down here. Another treasure chest. Mega potion, uh, that's kinda weak. At this point I basically just sell my mega potions. I've already got a decent supply, and now I've got two magic users. Uh, oh, I think I need to go back down there and check. Uh, so far, I've gone the wrong way, like, every possible time. You wouldn't even know that I grinded in here for, like, an hour and a half. Here we go. Ooh. I could give those to Astina. I'll probably do that off-screen or between episodes. I don't want this just to be ten minutes to be going through my item screen. Don't be afraid to use your magic with Elrad in here. I know in a lot of RPGs you just want to save your MP. Ah, oh. But, uh, there is a save point near the end of this dungeon, so... Cast away. Uh, I don't think she'll be able to take him out, but... Oh, terrible. She needs a weapon upgrade badly, because her... Offense stat is pretty good. It's respectable. And her strength is just as good as the heroes because of some item items she has. It's just her weapon that's garbage. Let's see what's over here. Oh, there we go. Death base. Oh, uh, that is a decent weapon. But, it is cursed. Meaning that, when you equip it, you can't take it off, and I don't believe you can cast magic. You have to, if you use that, you have to go to the church and get it healed off. I'll just be selling it. Oh wow, 560 counter, it's pretty good. I was kind of hoping he'd move and hit Elrad there. Get him hit a little bit so he can get some more HP. Now you can change the order of the party. Like if you want to put Midi in front, you can do that in the status menu. There's a reorder option that you can select. Oh wow. Yeah, these wizards can drop long swords, which are worth 500 gold. So that adds up pretty quickly. What? Oh, I am stupid. Okay. Went over there. Uh... Oh, I don't think I went up here. Oh. Yeah, this is this is frustrating. <laughs> that is, uh, that's what makes this area so good to grind. You just stay in this room. With that healing, uh, with that healing spot, 
you leave the zone, come back, get about 140 gold for each of them. Very good. I just want to double check. Oh my god. No, don't fight. Okay. Whew. Uh, let's go down here first. Yep. Mm. I'll cast Thunder again. I'm not going to be using Elrad's magic when we get to the boss anyway. I'll mostly be a melee fight. Ooh, 640 gold. Uh, no! Whew. Stop fighting me. The slimes are pretty easy. They can also poison, like every other slime we've seen so far. And they can drop uh, mega potions, I believe. That looks like it might be the way out of the zone. Yep. Nothing there. Okay, we are getting very close to the end of the dungeon. Ah, that's terrible. Why even put that in game? Should have put a cool weapon in there. Oh, there's a treasure chest over there. Let's remember to get that. Ooh, four. For the sake of time, I might just clean these out with the hero. Normally, you don't want to do this, but for the sake of a little bit of brevity, I will. So I, I did a decent amount of grinding with the other characters just to make sure that they could do okay damage. You don't want your hero just to be an unstoppable killing machine and everybody else is really squishy. Oh wow, that's my first uh, strength increase in quite a while. Oh, what's that up there? Water amulet. I'll be giving that to somebody. It's very good. Secret passage. Fire sword. Wow. Oh, that's very good. Oh. Looks like she already has it. Okay, here we go. 55 and 10. 120 and 8. And those attack points, I believe, will be going up pretty soon. Wow. Very good. More than doubles her power. Oh, might as well give her the water amulet, too. Why not? So, Midi is now a beast. She's very strong. And she's gonna help out most of the game, but she's kinda useless in the final boss. There's really only one spot to attack with, which will obviously be your hero, so that your other characters become just casters. In that sense, she's not incredibly useful. Um, I'm just going to assume that that's also cursed. You want to stay away from stuff named death. Who would have thunk it? But <laughs> They sell for decent gold, so I don't mind picking them up. Another long sword, wow. Oh, and we have our final area. And, um, yeah, good to go. Screen shake. Whoa! We have some sort of Hydra. Hero starts far away. Let's see what this is. Oh, just a point Hydra. 900 and... Okay. It's pretty hard, but let's like, get Midi in action a little bit. She gets a little experience. And as Tina too. Why not? Oh. Oh, she obviously uh, doesn't have the defense to stay there. Just let Elrad cast a uh, way spell. Okay, let's just go finish this guy off. As soon as I get to the hero. Okay. 
An elixir! Ah. Well, we have ourselves a spirit. Ancient king. Sounding like a decent dude. A note on the door. Oh. Check that out. Oh, well, let's do it. Here it is. And for reading that note, we get a conquest mark. It's not for killing the Hydra or for eating the spirit, just for reading. Now we have 44,000 gold, which is quite a lot. Quite a lot of gold. Oh, the red carpet experience! As usual, this was her first time getting promoted. It, that's a that's obviously an error because her title wasn't priest; she was a scout. As Tina is the one who has the base class of priest. There we go. And they corrected it there. And yeah, there are a few typos like that, a few errors. It's actually not too bad for a translated uh, game. Well, thanks, lady. Well, it's because I am. I am the greatest. Mother's a wise woman. Let's talk to this guy. I'm already superior to me. You're a knight. Oh, okay, he's giving us a little hint on what we should do. What village? What village? It would have been nice if you'd have told us. Oh, while I'm here, I'm going to sell some equipment, and I'll meet you right back. Okay, and I'm back. I just sold those long swords, the cursed equipment... And really all the excess stuff. I gave the power gloves I found to Estina. Because Midi already came with some equipped. Okay, it's apparently if we're heading to Argyle, we have to say hi to someone. Let's talk to this kid. Oh, no, that's just a kid that tells you what uh, rank you are. Oh, okay. We finally know which village we're talking about. It's the snow area. Yeah. Guess we'll head there. Oh, I love this music. It never gets old. Don't have time for you guys. I'll just kill this guy quick, just because, you know, he might be worth 1,200 gold. Can't pass that up. And no. Oh, well. Worth a try. Oh, the snow stopped. Yes, you know, we can place test something out. Okay, with the promotion, uh, we all they all got new magic, the magic users, and let's just test out one of those spells right now. Firestorm. It hits everybody on the screen. It does fire damage. Now that is ridiculous. The downside, it costs 85 magic points. That's a lot. But if you want to farm gold and you don't feel like doing it, you know, slowly. You can just really farm this area with because these uh, ice hounds give a lot of gold or snow wolves, I should say. They give a lot of gold. Now, as you saw there, Mini's finally finally able to do some real damage. That's good. Uh, oh, just want to make it to the next town. Yeah, she's pretty useful here. Ah, let's get Elrad involved. Whoa, they didn't die, huh?
and then could cast level 2 ice spells. It's pretty dangerous. Whoa, where the hell did he come from? Oh, there might be a secret passage over there or something. Yep. What? What? There we go. Rune Shield! Well, thank you, Wolfpot. I never saw that. Let's see how good that is. Wow. That is a lot better than the Kite Shield. It does not lower my range. I'll take it. I think there might be a treasure chest over here. Yep. Elixir. Yeah, that's uh okay. Looks like there's a couple on screen here. Firestorm. Awesome. Oh, there's another hidden one. Nice. See I killed four and I got you no know, six hundred hit points, pretty good. Oh, this looks kinda suspicious. Oh! And here's the final weapon and armor shops of the game. That's right, there's only three in this game. From here on out, we'll be getting our upgrades through drops. But, until then, wow. This is a good weapon. It's a very good weapon. Uh, the Holy Staff is also good. It, you can, if you use it in battle, it acts like a turn on dead spell. And kill them. I th believe it also gives your character like a hundred uh, extra magic points. So I'll, I might be buying one of those for Elrad. See what's in here. Oh, this is where the good stuff is. Got a mithril helmet, mithril armor, and the same mithril boots. Wing boots, wow. Oh, uh, yeah, let's buy some. And a mithril shield, which is actually a downgrade. Wow. Okay, what I'm going to do... Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's... Hmm. I think I'll go with that, because Mithril Armor is incredibly expensive. Um... Oh, I have some deciding to do. I'm not used to... bringing in such good items. Um, yeah, I'll start off buying... Mithril boots and one mithril shield to give to. No, a mithril helm. Okay. Sell that kite shield. Uh, honestly, I might end just end up giving that mithril helm away. But I will equip them with the mithril boots. Okay, um. Mithril helm, let's give that to. I guess Midi. Okay, pretty good. Okay, now let's go back over here. I have a oh I'm terrible I think I have a weapon to sell right oh no I don't I already sold all that stuff well I guess um I'll probably farm a little bit of gold and do that off screen but until then let's move on I want to buy the mithril axe with my hero just so I can give his mithril sword to Midi who will give her or I'll give it to Astina if she can use it, but I'm not positive she can. Oh, what's up with this? Oh, that's... Yeah, I'm an adventurer. Sounds like the just thing to do. I'll be doing it. No, 
the phone monster. No, it's not stopping. Okay, um... Let's talk to this guy quick. Oh, there's a spirit. Oh! Hang on. I'll be right back. And we're back. Terrible phone. Let's just check this out. It's like, like, serpents of some sort. Let's uh, use Firestorm, see how much that does here. Oh, one shot some. So this gave about 200 gold a piece. Pretty good. The only problem is they're pretty tough. There's a lot of them too. Let's see how the blaze spell does. Single target, not quite. Should be close to death though. Okay, there's the K we're supposed to go in. Um, I think I'm going to cut it off here. This was a pretty long episode. That dungeon was long and a pain in the ass. Um, I'm not going to do a lot of grinding. I might five minutes. I might grind for like five minutes. I want to get the mithril axe for Alanon, so he can trade his weapon away. And I might take a look at another defensive upgrade, but I'm not positive on that. So, uh, until then, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, everyone.